I feel way too dressed up for this channel. What's up you guys? I know I look a little bit dressed up right now, but I was filming something for my main channel, which you should go subscribe to, by the way. And I wanted to just also hit two birds with one stone and share with you guys a really small convention haul. And welcome to my gaming channel where I talk about games and I will hopefully in the near future um, <laughs> share some gameplay and um, other Twitch related content on here. But for now, you're getting another pickups video. I called it a haul. Wow. Wrong channel. So this past Friday, it is now Sunday, but this past Friday I went to Anime NYC and this was my third time going. Obviously last year there was no convention, so everyone was pretty excited to get back to normal as, you know, I understand. I was too. Um, I was only able to really experience about three hours on that Friday as most people were, but I did pick up some games and I was not expecting to even find games here. I have purchased in the past, but I didn't know that, um, I just wasn't sure if some of these vendors from the past were going to be coming back, but it was a pleasant surprise because I saw a big chunk of people that I've seen in the past. So let's start off with something that's not gaming related, but I'm just going to show it anyway. I finally got the season two part one of Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon R. I have been collecting the Blu-ray box sets for a little while now. This was the only one that I was missing. Uh, now all I have to collect are the part twos for some of the seasons, including this one. So this was, this was fun to find. And this was from Collector's Anime LLC. They were the ones that were selling a lot of the um, Blu-rays, DVDs of various anime uh, movies and shows. So that was exciting to pick up. I'm gonna just put it right there. All right, so everything that I purchased are uh, Japanese imports. Let's start off with, with a fighting game because I love fighting games. <laughs> this is X-Men Children of the Atom. So this one, obviously I, I still left the prices on, so you will see that, but <laughs> so this has been on my list for a while now, the English version, um, and when I saw the Japanese version, I figured I might as well get it because it is a fighting game, so you really don't need to understand Japanese um, at all to play a fighting game, which is fine, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get it. Um, all of these are pre-owned Japanese imports and let me just say that uh, and I have purchased from Japan multiple times but anytime I ever get anything pre-owned from Japan it's been well taken care of and I can say the same for this game because it's stunning looking this almost does not look pre-owned like that's crisp. Okay, so the next game that I got, this is a Saint Seiya game. This is for the PS3. At the moment, I don't remember which game this is in English. I will put the title here. It's very hard to find anything Saint Seiya at all, even though I was at an anime convention. It's just not super popular in um, in America, but it's extremely popular in Europe and in Latin America. So this is very, this was cool to see. This was the only Saint Seiya thing that I saw the whole entire convention. Okay, then I only got one more game and I had to get it because this manga slash anime, mostly manga, this manga meant a whole lot to me when I was younger. It reminds me of 14 year old Jackie uh, reading manga for the first time. And I did not know that this existed. So I purchased Nana on the PS2. And I'm pretty sure it is a story game. So Nana is one of my favorite mangas of all time. And I didn't know that there was a game. I had no idea. I saw it. $19, so obviously I picked it up. Super pretty. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I love that the disc is pink and purple. This was also super well taken care of. If I can get it out of here. Subtle wear. Not that big of a deal. 
so yeah i think that this game is one of those games that you kind of need to know japanese to get through but i had to have it i had to have it looks like you could do dress up uh, on here there's storylines as well so i'll show you guys the back and that's that these uh these games are from retro psycho so here's their info if you want to check them out. I know that this is a super, super short video, um, but I did want to share with you guys what I got from Anime NYC, even if it was just three games. Um, it was overall a fun convention, but I wish I had more time on Friday to go looking for things, because Friday was the only day that I was able to attend. But there's always next year, so... So that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Is it thumbs up or is it a like? I don't even know anymore. But um, like this video if you can. It really helps me out. And let me know if you've ever been to Anime NYC or if you plan to go to that convention in the future. It's a fun time. I promise. Normally it's a fun time. <laughs> if you're interested in my other channels, I will have those linked down below. My main channel, uh, The Nerdy Fashion Girl, and my new revamped music channel. Also, don't forget to follow all of my socials. They will be linked down below and will also be shown at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!